Everybody fantastic. You are still watching hashtag uh, why in the morning and today is all about music and lifestyle hashtag Thursday vibes and uh, we are still hanging out with you right about now. My name is Brian Sankwa. Make sure that you chime in or you tag us along on all our social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter is at Y254 channel. Remember on Instagram, Konaka underscore pale, Y254 underscore channel. And mine is at Brian Sankwa. Qua one or oh. One. Now into the conversation of the day. Today we are going to talk about matters music. They say music is a universal language and what better way to express yourself than through music. And joining me right about now on set is a powerful, amazing gentleman who is about to take us through the journey about his music. When did, his, when did he launch his uh, career in music? When did he start? What inspires him? He's a gospel artist who goes by the name uh, Kelvin Namutem. Be in just a bit, we're going to get to know him as we banter through this conversation. So ensure that you jump on that hashtag once again, why in the morning. Good morning, brother. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you, brother. Uh, 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 be before, before, before we even get into um, the conversation of the day, we were having a conversation behind the scenes and uh, you told me that, you know, there's a difference between somebody who has a calling in their life uh, when they switch to another genre than somebody who just started music. Excellent. But before you answer that question, first of all, I just want you to tell us, uh, people who are watching back at home, maybe who you are, how old are you, where do you come from? Yeah. Okay. I'm Kelvin Amtembi, all the way from Kitengela, Route 110. I'm 26 years old. Yeah. Okay, um, now let's switch back to uh, music. You are a gospel artist and uh, you know, what better way, like I mentioned, what better way to express yourself than through music, but for yourself, you are a gospel artist. Yeah. Uh, how did you venture into uh, listening music before you even like uh, precisely chose uh, specifically the gospel genre? Okay, before I music, I used to kuimba. And I used to be a dancer too. So your your passion ya kufanya muziki ilikuwa ndani mwangu. So while I was back in high school, tuko naenda events like naenda like see you naenda na attend so na jingi zapale kwa see you see you. See you groups then you see the to mentor kujifunzia pale pale kuimba kidogo kidogo kutokea yeah. pale pia tulikuwa na dance group yenye ilikuwa inatusupport sana so pale ndo nilikuwa nikaanza kuji discover naweza nikaimba yeah. yeah wow amazing awesome which year which year was this 2015 2016 Okay. Yeah. Now, uh your first song uh or how what actually inspired your first song? Okay, f my first song could really inspire any life experience. Like now, on our way back to Nairobi from Meru, to Lipata accident. Now, the moment the accident to Lipata, nili managed to talk and even though many people were injured. Now, me and Katoka come and testimony. So, it pair a lot of challenge sana zenye zilibidi ni nimpe Mungu maisha yangu na ndo nikaandika the song Yesu yangene Yesu yangene Yesu awesome uh, you you ulikuwa unasema Yesu yangene means Yesu peke yake Oh Yesu peke yake so ni kama inspiration ili partner from, yeah, from uh, that from God saving you from that uh a uh, very fatal incident that happened to you. Yeah. And and speaking of that, you know, there's a uh, there's artists, some of there's people who would say, for me, mine mine is a calling. Now, kuna wale nye maybe uh, walienda shule ku study music. Now, mm. kanza ku venture into into like different specific careers. Some are different specific genres. Mm. Is a music for you? Would you say it's a calling? Ama ni ni inspiration to your maisha because uh, at, at, in the first instance you said it's passion mm -hmm. in the conspire mm -hmm. mm -hmm. actually it's a calling nimekuwa nayo toka kitambo yeah pia imetokana from my family okay imekuwa ni kitu pia inaendelea in our family yeah. na ikakuja pia ikanipata mimi so yeah. imetokana 
So ni, it's a calling. It's a calling. Yeah. You believe like unaamini una ilikuwa God wa na kuongelesha ama kwa, kwa maisha yako kuna venye una communicate na God kupitia hiyo calling amekupea. Very true. Uh, for, for somebody mwenye ako back at home na maybe wanataka maybe ku get into the music industry, angependa kwa kutaka kwa msanii ama nataka ku venture into something else inspirational, wanaweza anzia wapi? Especially from your experience kama msanii wa gospel. Okay, kitu mimi naweza nikawaambia kwamba first you have to believe in yourself. Okay. Once you believe in yourself hakuna kitu itakushinda. Though kuna challenges sana kwa wasanii but kama utajiamini mwenyewe it doesn't matter how difficult things zinaweza zikakuwa but ukiwa na hiyo passion na determination actually uta you will achieve your dream determination na passion. Yeah. Kwa music industry ya Kenya kuna venye yani kuna venye <laughs> kuna venye kuna mascandals kadhaa zina happen hapa na pale na ukiangalia okay, vizuri um, if I, I don't know maybe I'm allowed to mention names uh, uh, I think to, to look at me have a conversation behind the scenes uh, nikakuuliza what triggers ama ni factors gani wao zinafanya wasanii especially your gospel kama wewe wana check kufanya gospel music and then all of a sudden wana switch to another genre but now for you okay kwa kwa such a situation yenye uko forced hata si uko forced maybe si juu ni nini wao inafanya wasanii wana switch from gospel to other for you ni unadhani nini wao kina push wasanii okay mara mingi ni pia pressure unaona yeah, yeah. eh, unaona sami venye sign iko hivi ndao na mwenzangu maybe uko nje ako na exposure mingi sasa pia mi na napata ile pressure kutoka kwa wasanii wengi ama kwa marafiki zangu wanasema kimbia huko huko ndo utapata pesa yeah. unaona sasa kitu kayo pia pressure ndo ina inakuja ina, inafanya watu wengi wana shift from gospel wanaingia the other side then another thing ni kwamba tama tama imefanya tama. watu wengi wana lose focus tama ya pesa ama tama ya okay, kujulikana au uh, kujulikana unajua ameanza leo yeah. anataka ajulikane kesho of which is not that way easy so hawana yeah. ile patient ya kuvumilia yeah. so ile tama yenye wanataka wana things za haraka ndo vitu mm, vya haraka mm, wapate yeah. fame pesa vitu ka hizo yeah na unafanya analyze focus analyze focus ya maisha yeah. Ka, kama msanii wa gospel najua kama unatoka kwa a christian background mm-hmm. kuna ile kuna wale wanatoka kwa kanisa kuna wasanii walianza kanisani kuna wale wenye tu ni vile mention ni passion ya life mm-hmm. kuna ile yenye mention pia ni calling na do you feel kuna ile need ya kukuwa na mtu wa kukuelekeza for example mentor ama kuwa under a certain pastor na kupea direction ama a certain model mwenye unafuata especially you mention kuna pia pressure do you feel like kitu inafanya wasanii wengi sana wana via off the road ni kukosa ma mentor ama kukosa mtu wa kumpea direction na kama if it's true what about for yourself Or do you have somebody who is guiding you mentoring you and uh, uh, taking you through the process ya kwa uh, uh, come out as a powerful gospel artist Yeah, niko na some few guys ambao wameni mentor kabisa, especially my bishop Boni Mangeti Glorious Gospel Center Kitengela. Amekuwa karibu sana na mimi. So, hao ni mfano wa wale wenye unatuelekeza sisi kama wasanii ama mwimbaji. Yeah. So, kitu naweza nikaambia any upcoming artist, lazima ukuwe na mtu mwenye utaluk after mwenye atakuelekeza mwenye ame achieve mbele yako atakupea the way forward direction ndo usikuje ukames yeah yeah kweli kweli okay, and i love the fact that you attribute it to your gospel to your bishop kwa kanisa yako now let's come back to music itself mm. as a business mm. your gospel uh, mm. the gospel genre mm. for you how 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 is your creative process how do you get in the studio una unajipangaje hadi unafika to a place hadi unaandika your creative writing experience yako kwaaje so far okay mara mingi mimi nikisoma biblia napata content nikishapata okay. content song imekuja find time naandika chini ningia studio fanya production yeah yeah and then finally you'll come up with the final product on, on mm. that note pia um, the money uh, cuz uh, before you even record a track 
it's a whole process. Kuna ile studio time. For example, mm -hmm. you come over, you have you you do vocals. Do you practice vocals, Sama? Yeah. You can sing. I'm sure you'll do that as we sum it up towards the end. Um kujua like how do you prepare yourself to get up to the final product? Are you utoe audio? Ukuje kona final a very clear video for you as in how how take us through that process and yeah msanyene is uh, go through the ato kena final product. Okay, kitu ya kwanza kwanza kwa msani inafaa ujitume utafute do. Mana studio utaenda na pesa. Na pia kuenda kuenda studio sila CEO tu kuenda tu studio tu yenye umepata. You have to look the studio of high quality yenye utapeleka kazi yako ikitoka mpaka nini watu wa media watakuwa na shida kukuchezea sababu ya ile quality. So pesa ndo inahitajika you have to prepare yourself unaweza tafuta mabeshte wa ku support kama kufanya audio ama video yeah yeah back to the industry now yeah. uh, na, na jo si rahisi kupata mziki wako kuchezwa kama radio stations ama kupata watu ambao wana subscribe kwa youtube channel yako ama hata distribution the whole distribution process itself because na jo kuna iTunes pale kuna Deezer kuna Tidal kuna Adi audio mark kuna Bombplay for you kivi yako uh, mm. muziki yako uh, the uh, platform yenye unaweza kwa food for now ni kama gani yenye maybe mtu ambaye ana watch back at home anaenda apate music yako akusikize na aweze kuwa fan wako like mara mingi youtube na facebook zimeni support sana sio rahisi maybe kwa hizi nini zingine but mm, nimepata a lot of fans kupitia facebook na youtube yeah yeah so what do you do like una record music uh, kisha maliza una upload youtube and then una no, share me a link ya yeah, yeah. facebook youtube ya yeah. oh, awesome awesome bro uh acha turudi pale kwa pesa kuna mm. mtu generally the main the main reason ya kwanza hii career yako yote ni in as much yes. as you are serving god through it vile mm. umesema inspiration mm. and what not lazima kuna benefits unataka kutafuta kupata at the end of the day especially mm. financial benefits so mm. for you would you say uh, the gospel music industry in Alipa iko na pesa? Absolutely. Mhm. Mm yeah, pesa eleza tafadhali. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back in the Bible, Biblia inasema kwamba seek the kingdom of God first and the rest shall be added unto you. So e industry yenye tuna ama, ama gospel industry once ume umeeka Mungu mbele ata provide it too. however difficult the situation might be yeah. god ata ata provide ata mm. connect to like now me my first video i didn't pay anything god ali ni connect pia my audio nilipata tu connection nikafanywa audio moja free despite of paying some few cash but mm, 75% nilifanya wa free so you you get that god once you me ume put god first ata connect to na tatengeneza njia mm. yeah but pia inafaa una una hustle una hustle kabisa upate those ways when you utapata pesa but in a good way in a good way mm. Wow, thanks for that. I hope uh, those are notes you're taking uh, put good for us. Now, and I, I love the fact that you know you're attributing everything to God. And mm -hmm. uh, let me bring out to you the situation. Kuna mm wasanii ni wakubwa. They are well known. They have the numbers. Mm -hmm. They have what it takes, but music yao high reach far. Especially the gospel genre specifically. Shida ina kuanga nini haso? Is it like you mentioned? Niko kosa fever, aman niko kwa na pesa, and then hakuna strategy. Okay, first, okay, kwa msani wa gospel, kwa anything ni unataka kufanya ati ni seme in general terms sasa. Kwa anything ni ina ina una unataka kuanzi chama ni una unaifanya put God first. Alafu ka i dedicate ambia Mungu I'm doing this and this and this purposely for your glory unaona 
sasa ata ata allocate to favor ata allocate to favor ata uta struggle ku push vile utaona tu mtu ana kama cross your song and i push you to okay yeah uh, let's let's come back to your song kuna i uh, uh, I, uh, i was I was, watch, I was watching the video ile song in it to a ship in ship me up yeah yeah what was the inspiration between shape me up what happened at the we can forget to a place we come to a god hey god please just shape me up <laughs> yeah na kumbuka tulikuwa na group ya vijana kama watano na we had something in common after leaving high school kuna wenye wali wali join campus kole wengine tukabaki mtaani tu kanza solo aso lakini tukaingia groups mbaya mbaya acheki so nikaona the moment tulikuwa tunaendelea nikaona nikiendelea na this direction naona my life iko in danger so ndo ili ilibidi tu nikarudi chini nikamwambia Mungu hapana nataka utengeneze maisha yangu sasa ni, ni leader sa role model yeah. ndo nikakuja nikakaa chini nikapata revelation ya hiyo wimbo nikakaa nikaiandika nikaingia studio yeah interesting interesting and remarkable um ukiangalia profiles mingi za wasanii wa gospel utakuta alikuwa jambazi siku nyingine aka aka decide to reform mwingine um, sijui alikuwa nani aka decide to reform uh, aka kwa gospel artist most of the testimonies actually ukiwatch utasikia before ni kwa hivi mimi nilikuwa nafanya kile na kile hapa kule hapa kule is it because of hayo mapito ya kimaisha mabaya ndio yanafanya mtu anabadilika hadi anakuwa gospel artist ama ni experiences to your life because uki compare for example na wasani secular wengi oh naimba tu about women drugs sex life na kila nini and what not but now for mostly gospel artists you realize it's a common pattern mm. nini haswa inafanya kunaenda hivyo hiyo wangu ni kama experience god ana ni kama tuseme ni lesson unapitishwa anga ni lesson so unapitishwa ndo ufike mali yo surrender it's like a lesson just experience life experience yeah yeah yenye mungu anakupitishia ndo you come back to your senses yeah, yeah interesting interesting god me mention surrender kuna kuna ule mse ana work so hard ana push so hard ana jaribu ku reach out kwa producer au chezen kwa mazake anaputia mm. inaitwa putting in the work ame put in the work hadi imefika to a place ameshindwa tu cha kufanya ame decide yani wacha tu kuende vile kutenda ungemwambiaje ikiwa maybe ni msanii upcoming mwingine kama wewe mwenye ako back at home okay kitu naweza mshow has give up ajue tu kuna siku venye in the book of nahum to abaku kwa imini abaku kutu three hata ikichelewa god atatenda tu so yes give up aendelee tu aendelee tu kupush aendelee tu yeah. siku yake itafika nice thank you to to have a conversation behind the scenes na i was trying to explain to you how uh, bahati and willy paul were transformed kutoka the gospel genre so a shift to mainstream that we used mm. the word mainstream to mm. avoid saying secular uh, mm. what do you think apart from peer pressure and ulikuwa mentioned peer pressure nyingine ni thirst for fame mm. do you feel like hakuna hakuna cells hakuna pesa kwa the gospel field because utaona watu wengi sana ambao walianza gospel even some of the big r&b stars when you are overseas walikuwa kanisani but at some point waka ditch the genre waka rudi back to other mainstream genres okay see it gospel haina pesa pesa iko maana we know that our father is the provider na kama mungu anaweza akapea ule msako mainstream mbona sisi asitupe na indi sawa father sasa ile strategy ya msanii ndo inaweza fanya mindset yake na unajua god you require sana patience na kama uko patient enough uta quit yeah so nasema tu kwa, kwa god kuna everything pesa iko pesa iko Okay. Yaani ile tu inataka patient na u, u put a lot of trust in him. Yeah. Yeah. 
Aim ya music yako sana sana ni, ni, ni gani? Koza uh, uta interact na watu wengi upcoming asema mimi nataka kupata numbers ni ni fikisha platform fulani and then ni anze kufanya kitu fulani ama ni change genre yangu ikwe organization ya kusaidia watu kadhaa hapa na pale for you okay personally mana nikianza hii muziki nilikuwa na a lot of challenges like kujipeleka studio nini vitu ka hizo na unapata vijana wengi huko mtaani wako na talanta lakini hakuna mtu wa kusimama nao personally nataka kubadilisha Okay, nataka kuleta ule mtu wako chini pia ni muambie kwamba inawezekana ku recognize hizi talanta ziko hapa chini kuinua kuguza. Like now niko na work na pia my team ambao ni ma dancers no which I'm nurturing some few guys there. Pia ukiangalia my video ya wema wako there is a lady by the name Yusta of yeah, been nurturing ya saya me do ako outside to fight for lakini ni, she has been in my hands so kuna wale watu nime nangangana na wao kuwainua kidogo so my prayer kwamba niki manage kufika penye god at a plan ni ni raise talents ni raise ni raise ni raise oh, wow. talents yeah awesome amazing now in, in, speaking of talents who are some of the big collabs am a collaborators ungependa ukipata chance now kufanya ngoma uta utakubali haraka haraka maybe some of them when you know look up to na ungependa hata kama just in case maybe they'll watch this show and learn of this video at some point uh ungependa kufanya kazi nao in future ama way forward yeah um, one of them ni lagosa wa lagosa is a good guy tumefanya na yeye events kadha pale kitengela and actually i'm looking forward to work with him the sec- second guy ni guardian angel pia nimemwa approach mara kadhaa ako kwa hiyo list pia na chuchu yeah. the lady by the name chuchu okay yeah why guardian angel though <laughs> bona guardian angel <laughs> yeah anapenda sana venye anaimba pia ni msako very humble yeah yeah good guy okay yeah. uh Let's let's come back still to sales and marketing in terms of gigs uh kuchezwa katika ma radio stations uh television for you um I utter before that do you, do you feel like wasani wengi ambao ni upcoming wanapata support ama wanakubalika haraka sana ama you have to put in you have to do something different like for you msema una serve under your church na iko kitengela na unapata support from your bishop mm. so kwa msani tambo wende upate support especially our upcoming ni shida sana it, there is a lot of challenges especially kupata platform kama hii yenye nimepata it's just god's grace you know tumejaribu sana so many media unapata ona ona kula tu do lakini hawezi kaona ngoma yako ikichezwa ama ona kudanganya tu ona kwa assume hawezi wakakupa hiyo chance of yeah. which na gil ina ina inafanya una feel guilty ni kama una unaona una sasa ni kama una GD value mm, yeah. yeah na ina ina inafanya una lose morale na focus mara mingi so si rahisi si rahisi yeah mm, si rahisi okay uh, uh, speaking of that unajua before you even have your video played your mm. song played on our station mm. kuna the aspect of the quality of the audio the quality of the video Mm. na hizi zote zina cost yake. So unajua kuna kuna mtu maybe ame record video ya 3K anataka mm. icheze kila siku kwa station. Na unajua hizi stations za zingine ziko na standards pia mm. za kucheza. Do you feel like pia lack of capital is also an issue for for upcoming artists due hauna quality work yes but yes you have the vision, you have the dream, you have the gift and the talent but juu hauna pesa ndio maana hauchezwi na kwa exactly hiyo ya lack of capital imekuwa a lot of challenge maana unaweza pata msendi wako na passion ya kufanya kitu lakini sasa ile quality ya amefanya ita mwalao apate ya play ama ichezwe mali watu waisikie ndio ako na content lakini capital imekuwa shida sana kitambo endo race audio umalize race video 
pia inataka pesa tu mzuri na maybe uko jobless pengine wewe ni mwanafunzi so unapata a lot of challenges na pia kitambo upate mse mwenye atakuwa understand unajua mtu akiona tu unachukua kama 10000 zako na ingia studio atasema hiyo una waste pesa ungefanyia kitu kingine sasa unapata inakuwa na a lot of challenge yeah um, i believe as an artist uh, you are also a creative wewe ni content creator Mm. na kuna kuna ile mood una get in ukitaka kuingia studio like only mentioned before you read the bible a lot and you can quote habakuk mm. uh, for you mood gani wewe inako get into your creative uh, writing space and especially zile kuna watu wanasema anga ni magidha ni magidha ya kuandika sasa <laughs> sitaki watu ku interfere yeah nini wewe inako get into that space ya kwanza kuandika lyrics okay venye nilikwambia mwanzo tu nikisoma biblia nikishapata any content hapo sasa ndo naanza anga siendelee naanza sasa mambo na muziki maana chenye nilikuwa natafuta god atakuwa me speak to me sasa napati anga pale na ingia immediately kuanza kufanya kazi yeah. ama tunaweza kuwa tu kwa mazoezi yetu ya kuimba tu kawaida kawaida na wenzetu from there ama nikipata mtu akinicheza ya piano something of the so it am an excuse instrumental to yoyote inapiga nitasikiza tu nione ikienda na rhythm yangu sometimes unapata wimbo inakuja from the moment naandika wow awesome amazing yeah. um stuck it to my interview cause ya kuuliza kuna kuna venye mse anaweza sema i have experienced god na um mention is it your first song and you listen Uli, you, you went through a, a fatal accident but you survived na una attribute your event kama ku experience experience yako na god uh, kwa msemo yako back at home na maybe ana trust siku moja akuwe na experience na mungu anaweza fanyaje it's a it's a simple process once you give your life to jesus mana maana Yesu alikufa ni kwa ajili ya sisi wote na venye alikufa alichukua dhambi zetu sasa sisi chenye tunaweza tuka offer ni kumpea tu maisha yetu tukishampea tunamwachia everything sasa hata kwa in control over everything yeah yeah ni kumpea tu maisha it's a simple thing After, give your life to christ to Jesus, yeah. also uh, let's come back to relationships <laughs> in church in church um story na ku debt zinakuanga sometimes is it restricted mm-hmm. you um i understand kuna venye like you have to wait up to a certain period ama ufita at a certain age and even for some pastors i've seen i've seen i've even heard testimonies of somebody mwenye alichaguliwa bibi ama alichaguliwa bwana and then finally wakaenda waka marry each other and then kuka kwa nasty but pastor le bambia ni god amesema o lewe na huyu in your situation how is the experience now that you are a gospel minister <laughs> to even give us more light in that area <laughs> okay unajua oh yes the gospel ministers mara mingi watu wana wanaweza dhania hawezi akames lakini we are just human beings tuko tu na feelings kama za watu wengine you know so mimi kitu naweza sema kitu ya kwanza we heshimu Mungu kwanza heshimu sauti yake when the right time comes kama god ya me speak utapata you are chosen wife or husband yeah awesome yeah. um uh, let's come back to you serving at church serving at church ile uh, you mentioned you 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 attend at a church at Kitengela mm. kuna kuna wase wenye uko sidelined i believe sidelining iko in every platform see to in mainstream mm. kuna mtu mwenye anatamani ni siku moja aimbe kanisani for you do you sing at church do you perform do you get gigs do you interact and socialize ama it's a cocoon to it's a restricted circle ambayo ni it's only for the selected few <laughs> Okay like me wanga na perform mainly in my church pia wanga na organize event wale na pia pia platforms wale wenye wako willing kufanya kitu na wapea platform wanakuja wana wanaimba kidogo na hii platform yetu tunaanza at least tunaanza na church hapo 
So watu wakikisha kuzoea hapo pia tunakupea platform nyingine nje kama kuna event around tuna organize pia unaenda watu wakuone. Yeah. yeah so platform yuko tu as long as you are willing and ready. Yeah. Mm. tu <laughs> one of your favorite. But the which one is your favorite song among uh, your songs that you, you have that you gonna audio and how many audios do you have in total? Ni kona audios ne then audios, video uh-huh. videos ni mbili two videos uh, mm. among those which one is your favorite yes we are in yes we are in which is in louis i believe yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you mind just giving us an a cappella and before that uh, I, I, want, i want you to tell us if you had a chance to maybe collab with uh, willy paul or uh, bahati would you take it would you say da nada <laughs> bado you you won't take it for now bado For now you, you don't th- no, maybe they're less. giving you a chance bro to get into an, a bigger platform maybe god is using them to give you that opportunity <laughs> why say no okay i know they are our, our brothers but sa unajua bahati wametoka on our direction wa wameenda the other side so kuna some two things hapa light and darkness you see Though she say me oko kwa darkness but tuta speak tutangoja god has speak unaona akisema it's now the time to work with them why not oh wow okay eh, lakini sita sita enda tu so you'll consult god first you'll consult pray from about it god, and uh, and uh, and the way forward I, i love the fact that you all the time before you make a decision you come back to yourself and involve god which is actually like one of the main take out from this interview. Now uh, before that uh, please just a little la capella and then you can tell us your social media platforms what we want to kupata just in case they want to book you for a gig on as a fanya nini hapa na pale. So sing us one of your favorite songs just a capella. Yeah. Capella. Yeah. Okay I'll, I'll sing too. So you sing too amazing. <laughs> This is your day. Oh uh, so cover. I'll give Yesu yengene anyalanga vyosi ay 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 ami kononi mwa shetani amenitoa ami ndio maana namsifu Yesu yengene anyalanga vyosi ay 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 ami kononi mwa shetani amenitoa ami ndio maana namsifu tazama umenitoa kwa giza nilikokuwa nimezama kwa dhambi baba ukanishika mkono nisiangamie eh tulipopata jaluli nipusha kifo yesu eh nilipolaso sipitaluli niponya bahaba Wo 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 ni semeni ni maulana nashukuru ni semeni ni mie eh mbamba nashukuru yesu yengene anyalanga vyosi ai 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 ami kono ni mwashetani amenitoa ami ndio maana namsifu yesu yengene anyalanga vyosi ai 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 yahu right this is kelvin amtembi the vocal master na niko ndani ya y254 in the morning thank you now if you're watching by home guys and uh, you're not rooting out for this guy i just have no idea what you are doing because this guy is powerful guys he has he, he's got the gift he's got the talent he has the ambition he has the dream so um, i believe if you're back in back at home and you're watching please uh, tell us feedback at on our social media platforms like facebook instagram twitter at y254 channel but before that bro uh, maybe if somebody wants to book you for gigs on attack window perform kwao na and before that and attack open a credit to some of the most uh, most people who support you mostly some of the people in your coco list yako na support sana ungependa kuacha pa shout out hapa na pale ama ungependa pia kupiga support please uh, mention them faster faster as you give out the info okay first and foremost nataka ku pick up my father and my mother najua pia wameni support sana kwa maombi sometimes financially kidogo my bishop boni mangeti glorious gospel center kitengela 
Glorious Gospel Center Youth being their chairman wa mini support pia sana watu wangu pia watetemesha dance crew na wa big up sana pia niko na my best friends pale Kayole kona one junction kuna Beth kuna Msidante kuna Cheupe kuna Evans pia ningependa ku big up my brother akiwa pale Mlembe FM Nelson Yandati ameni support pia sana kwa kupush kazi zangu pia my producer John Blaze kwa kuni mentor pia kwa kuni coach kufanya mambo yangu ya kimziki na watu wote wenye wana subscribe wenye wananitia moyo kila time wa kuniambia ni songe mbele wenye wanani encourage na wa big up sana pia my brothers najua wako pale Moi University Lawrence Daphin and Nixon and my sister Sharon pale Kibabi University God our bless sana pia na watu wa Y254 Brian and the rest of the team God our bless for this support amen 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 thank you so much uh on as a piano your social media plus but before that before piano social media any future collabs ama projects zenye ziko in store but is got studios in and like pick up okay next pale. next month in kona guardian in kona ilagosa or ilagosa yeah there is a big surprise by, uh, by the end of next month okay yeah by ilagosa or ilagosa guardian angel yana huyo chuchu chuchu yeah okay So guys uh, you can expect that from him social media pale penye sio naweza kupata faster faster so facebook kelvin amtembi or you can like my page kelvin amtembi music ig atinamtembi kelvin youtube kelvin amtembi subscribe to my youtube channel like share and comment alright Thank you so much uh, Kelvin for uh, coming through. Asante sana for even uh, giving us that a cappella guys and uh, I'm sure you have seen it you have heard it he's gifted he's got what it takes and he's very ambitious and sure that you check out his music uh, follow him on social media reach out give him gigs and subscribe to his YouTube channel. And I think at that point we shall take a short commercial break and uh, we had asked a question on social media Uh, uh please go check out why to for for channel on our facebook page uh we had posted a question there when we come back in just a minute we will be sampling and uh, reading your feedback my social media platform is at brian sako 101 on twitter and uh our station is at y254 channel hashtag is why in the morning thursday vibes keep it right here in just a bit we are back with much more mm. 